Good morning folks, this is Brian Weber and this is the Euro Dollar video report for the 22nd of March 2012. Alright guys, so we're looking at the 15 to 4 hour and the 1 hour charts here. Um, and basically what we see yesterday um, is price doing what we were hoping it would do and that's basically bounce off the 132.20 uh, sorry, the 132.15 up towards the 132.20 zone uh, produce a profit, and that that happened yesterday in the market. So we got the massive sell off around half half 12 to 1 noon, um, and we got the the divergence signal to get long in the market here, um, and that produced a, a nice profitable trade. Our target original target was 132.60. We could see that it put a high of 132.57 into the market, so just free pip shy of the first target, but trailing the stop and being aggressive with your stop and all, always never letting a profitable trade turn into a losing trade um, produced a profit here. Now yesterday's report I said if the 132.15 ever gave way at any point then look for that 131.70 up towards the 131.85 to hold as support and possibly give a buy signal and that happened. So we get, after the big sell off here Again, it came down towards that 131.70, 131.85 zone, and again we had more divergence on the stochastic to get long. And again, the, the original target to to if, if we went long there was the 132.15. As we can see, it took the bounce there, pushed up, and hit that 132.15, 132.20 zone. Okay, so nice two bounces on support, backed up the divergence, backed up with the, the, the spikes, the rejection spikes on the candle. So nice two profitable trades on the euro dollar. So today, what do we have? Well, today we're looking at the possibility of a breakup for a, a triple top. Now, if I just highlight this on my chart, if I bring this for 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 our chart interview, we can see extreme highs are way up at the 134.86. Um, on the chart here, on the, on the chart here, but since then, what what the euro has done on the four-hour chart is just give a steep decline, a steep downtrend with decent retracements in the market, as we see here. Okay, but what's really um, appealing to me here is the fact that this 13300 level is looking rather strong. If I just draw a resistance band around there. Basically, what we see here is a top out in the market before a massive sell-off. Um, when price recovers and comes back up again, to back within that vicinity, it sells off again, but it doesn't quite make it all the way up there that time. On the third attempt, or the second attempt, should I say, we do get another top out around that 13300 level right here. Okay, so if we see price is moving up here again, this could form the basis for a triple top. And again, we could see another steep decline in the market here if we do see another another top up here and we're not that far away from it because we're currently trading around the 132.36 and since that decline down towards the 131.80 level from yesterday basically prices have just been putting in a series of higher lows and higher highs as we see here okay so we got the lower low the lower high then we got the, the higher low followed by the higher high the higher lows and then once again price is putting in the higher lows uh, sorry the higher highs and the higher lows. Alright, so we got that right there. All the way up to this resistance point at 132.50. And this is going to be our line in the sand today to go long or look for neutral markets. Um, for us to go short, we would really have to break that 131.80. When I say go short, I mean a strong short, a full position. 131.80, but <clears throat> overall, what I'll be looking for today is the possibility of prices moving up above that 132.50 zone and moving up 50 or so pips towards that um, 13300 level to form the basis of a triple top up here. Okay, so I just marked that off the chart. Here's the, here's the cluster zone of resistance points from 130.85 up to the 13300 level. Okay, so if we do get a break above this 132.50 level here, 
which we saw attempts at. We saw the spike above here, and um, early this morning we saw another spike. So we're going to call this resistance point about 132 up to 13250 up to about 13255. Okay. So if we really see a break, we'll actually move that up to about 13260 actually. Okay. So if we actually see a break above that 13260 zone then I'm going to be looking for buy signals to get long and trade this up towards this cluster zone and again this should form the basis of a triple top up here at the 13300 level alright and from there I'm going to reevaluate. I'm going to cover any longs that I do get at that level I'm going to reevaluate the charts and decide if I should be getting short based on the triple top or is the price really going to bust through that level and put in a higher high Okay, because both are, are actually possible. All right, so above 132.60, I'm going to be looking to try and get long up towards the 13300 level, and basically anything below 13180, I'm going to be looking to get short in the market, and I'm going to be trying to trade that down towards the 13140 and then the 13120 levels. Okay, so let me just burn that off. Okay, so if I get a break below that 13180, 13170, which was Monday's low and yesterday's low, then I'm going to be looking to trade this down towards the 13140 and then possibly down towards the 13120 level. All right, and then from there reevaluate the charts because you may get a buy signal down here to take this back up towards the 13170.80 okay but that's only in a break of the 13170 zone it has to break that zone to target the 13140-13120 um, and for the long side we're looking for a break above the 13260 level and from there, what we'll do is target the 13300 level and possibly the 13320 level. But when we get to that 13300 level, if we do get to that 13300 level, reevaluate the chart and decide if it's time to get short in the market based on a triple top on a 4-hour chart here. Okay, so have a good one, guys.